Hello everyone, welcome back to Rathuri Tech Media. In this video, we will be learning about how to create custom middleware in Django. Middleware is the framework of hooks into Django's request response processing. It's a light low-level plugin system for globally altering Django's input and output. Each middleware component is responsible for doing some specific function. For example, Django includes a middleware component, authentication middleware, that associates users with requests using sessions. And now let's start our first middleware. So inside your app, in my case it's named practice, create a file called middleware.py. Middleware.py. Now name your middleware anything like I'm naming it simple middleware. Okay. So the two main important methods in a middleware are underscore underscore init and underscore underscore call so let's write them out yeah underscore underscore init and here you have to write this response equals to get response now this get response will be passed from here underscore call and here pass the request object so here dot get response and then pass the request and finally return the response so this underscore underscore init method, this method is called only once whenever your web server is started and this method is called every time. So for every request this method is called. Now if you want to do something before processing the request then you can write your code here. Like just print it out before request and if you want to do something after the view is executed then you can after response okay, then you can write your code here now this is a very simple middleware which is completed but it's not activated yet so to activate it what you have to do is just open your settings.py and just put your middleware in the last for now so it's inside practice dot middle where dot simple middle where so let's test this out okay so now I'm just hitting my home page and we can see okay so this is before request and this is after request it means our middleware is working fine one important thing while activating your middleware you have to remember is that ordering in middleware is very important because it matters because one middleware can depend on the another middleware. For example, authentication middleware stores the authenticated user in the session therefore it must run after the session middleware. Now let's just sum up everything we did in this tutorial. So very first thing we did is we created a file called middle, middleware.py inside practice folder which is our app and inside that file we created a very simple middleware also named as simple middleware and there are two important methods here underscore underscore init and underscore underscore and if you want to do anything before the response then you have to write your code here like you can just store any information inside this request.session or you can just do something after this code now once you completely write your middleware then to activate this you have to open settings.py then inside this there is a middleware list this one and in this list you have to enter the complete path of the middleware in our case it's practice.middleware.simplemiddleware and the important thing in this case is the ordering of the middleware 
I hope that you can write your custom middle, custom middleware from now on.